All right, so I'm going to show you how to use texture within this project. We'll go to Google, type in like, for this example, wood texture. And I'll go to search tools. And I'll go to images. And under search tools here, we have the ability to go to size. So I'll use something like uh, within the range of I'm using now, 2048. So I would go a higher res, that's what I mean. Don't, don't settle for this stuff. Go really high res. You can always scale it down. With the other stuff, you can't scale up. Alright, so what I'm going to do is look for a texture that's kind of uniformed all the way across and able to scale it. Ah, like this. This is nice. So let's take this and we save image as. And I'll save it onto the desktop. I'll go back to GIMP. And make sure I open my house. And for this, I'm just going to copy it. Use the selection tool. Copy. And paste. I can use paste as new layer. Okay, I'll move this layer up. All the way up. All right, zoom out using control and wheel mouse so you can see this. And I'll go to the scale tool. If you click and drag, you can scale this down to something smaller. Hit scale. And zoom in. So what I want to do is get this image uh, to be roughly the size of what texture would be in the, in the drawing. In this case, uh, this is a little bit too big, I, I think. Alright, so I'll put it over here in the corner. Scale it. Just like that. Something around there looks better. Okay, then I'll use uh, Shift Control D. Oop. And let's see what that is. Actually, it's yeah, Shift Control D. Oh, I know what it is. <laughs> I got my recording software, which is also uses Shift Control D, which is screen draw. <laughs> Neat. Ah, cool. All right, so here I'll just duplicate layer. And I'll do that a couple times here. Perfect. Now let's merge those down. I'll use the clone stamp tool here. And under the tool options that pop up, I'm just going to use a soft brush like this. How this tool works is you hold control over a good part, let go of control, and paint. So if you make your brush a little bit bigger, Control click and then click you'll find that it makes a really nice clone and sometimes you want to just hit it in areas that look repetitive don't concentrate too much on this step because you'll find in the next step that it's useless to uh, just focus on so much perfection all right let's go to the move tool 
And again, let's duplicate this layer. This time, we don't have to worry about cloning because if you see wood grain is just, it magically blends this way. Again, don't concentrate on uh, fixing any of this. You'll see why. All right, so I wanted just to cover the house. All right, now merge down. Merge down just takes all these layers that I copied and turns them into one layer. Perfect. All right, now there was a flat layer here. This is the very flat one that's just color and nothing else. I'm going to duplicate that and bring it to the top and I'll show you what it looks like. It looks like this. Okay, this is what you do. This is, has flat color so you can select from it and that's why I wanted you to make it. And if you're hitting your hand against your forehead right now because you didn't make this layer, it's all too apparent why it was important to make this now. So select by color. Select color and then select invert so this is selected everything but that color well, let's turn that one layer off and go to this layer and hit delete so now I have this that's ugly it kind of looks cool in a way but it's pretty ugly so all you do is change this to multiply And there we go. We have a house with texture. And you can see that none of that perfection mattered at all because you can't see where the, the good and the bad is. All the black covers over everything else because it's a multiply. And all the color information that you chose to have down here, like all this, it just blends nicely in with the texture. Another thing you could do is think about opacity. So you can choose to have this to be a little bit less. Let's say right about here. I'm just using the wheel mouse until I like it. It's not so strong. So what I usually do is, you know, is say, hey, there's cement. Hey, there's like another form of texture. And you'd be surprised on how it when you're adding texture to something like this, how less flat it looks. So, enjoy. Let's go on to the next video.